go. Hello, I'm David Petz from Durham University and this is the middle of our sixth season at Binchester. And what I want to talk to you about right now is our latrine. I'm standing right in the trench of a Roman communal toilet. Uh, our fort would have had what, 600 plus men, um, so inevitably the Romans would have wanted to try and keep the place reasonably hygienic and would have provided a whole series of communal latrines. Going to the toilet was a, was a social activity in the Roman period. So where I'm standing right now would have probably had a, a wooden superstructure or a stone, stup stone superstructure. And there would have been a series of perhaps one, two, three or even four toilet seats next to each other and everything would have ended up down here in the trench. And you can see the, 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 the floor of our trench is, is angled, so everything runs down towards the central culvert. And then you can see this beautifully arched masonry culvert would have taken everything out of the fort because they wanted to get all the sewage out of the fort and through our external fort wall into the, the ditch beyond. And the way they did this, they didn't just lie, uh, rely on chance or, or, or gravity, there was actually a system for sluicing water through. And at this level here, there's a big conduit coming through, and that would have harvested all the rainwater from the various roads and um, internal hard surfaces within the fort. And when it rained, which it does a lot up here in County Durham, particularly in, in the winter, that water would have flushed everything through and kept our latrine block cleansed and uh, Roman Binchester, if not sweet smelling, it would have made it a little less unsavoury. That's good. Okay, thank you.